Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios bringing you another episode of How To. In today's episode, I'm going to go over how to record the screen capture for Android phones um, as well as the audio all in HD. Today I'm going to be using my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 as the demo as well as the Samsung Gear VRs to show uh, for the people who want to record 3D videos for um, Android Wear as well as like, the Gear VRs on how to do that as well too. Now aside from the phone, you're going to need several pieces of equipment in order to make this work. Um, I just acquired the last piece of the puzzle that I needed to record all my videos in HD um, just recently, actually just the other day. So that's why you don't see any older videos um, of my cell phone play or the, even the Gear VR videos in HD because I, haven't figured, I hadn't acquired this piece quite yet. But let's go over them one by one. So aside from the phone, what do you need? So first and foremost, you're going to need the Chromecast. The Chromecast is relatively cheap. I got this one for $30 from Best Buy. On top of that, they gave me a $20 Google Play card on top of it. So in my mind, I got it for 10 bucks. Um, the price point on these has gone down tremendously and it's very cheap to do. Honestly, for those of you who just wanna go ahead and broadcast the, your cell phone onto your television, or for those of you with the, the, um, the virtual reality stuff, just wanna show other people what you're playing, this is this is all you need to do that. Um, this really it, it it shows it on a slight delay, but this is perfect for that aspect. But for those of you who want to record that stuff, you're going to need some additional expensive pieces of equipment. So aside from the Chromecast, what else are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a capture device. Um, I use the Game Capture HD60 from Elgato. Um, this thing is meant to be, record Xbox One, PC, um, PlayStation 4 games. So it's very good quality. Um, it captures the videos in glorious 1080p as well as 60 frames a second, as well as HD sound. So it is perfect for that aspect. And now it is a little pricey. I got this one for about $150. Um, there are other alternative um, capture devices out there but if you want the quality this is probably the best bet I think there's another model that just came out that's above it but for now this is the thing I recommend now I'm gonna go over how you set it up um, in the later part of this video but that's just the second piece you're gonna need now you would think that you would only need these two devices in order to make this work but you actually need one more thing because if you haven't seen my previous videos Chromecast actually has a built-in security feature which is called uh, HDCP which pretty much prevents um, anything to record the video images from that that's emitted from the Chromecast so how do you solve that you buy this little guy um, this thing is an HDMI splitter now not from my research not all HDMI splitters will strip the HDCP uh, signal from the video signal but this one was proven and I have tested it and it works so what it does essentially is I used to view HD um, so what it essentially does is what it says it splits the HDMI signal out and in that process it strips the HDCP signal out of it and it allows the game capture device to actually record the video now now before I go on if you want to buy any of these items I do have a link in the description box as well as on my website LPX studios to purchase them through amazon.com and maybe Best Buy um, if I haven't gone around to it I apologize but by the time most of you see this video both links should be up there so what does the setup look like? I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show you how I rigged it up here. So excuse the layout. My room's a little messy, I guess. Right here is how you're going to set up the HD splitter with the Google Chromecast. So the Chromecast goes in the input side, and on the on the uh, output side, I only need one port, so I go, I just put it in the one port, and you connect that HDMI cable to. So from the splitter, you connect the HDMI cable to the input side of the Elgato uh, game capture device. And if you don't know how to use this device, you go ahead and connect this to the PC and just install the software. And then the output HDMI goes to your display. So in my rig here, I mean it's rigged up here. So let me go ahead and turn on my phone. So as you see here, now it's displaying on my computer PC. At the same time, it's now recording on the Elgato HD60 game capture software. So I've been recording here now for about 10 minutes and it's recording just fine. As well, let's go ahead and see how the audio is. So I'm gonna play one of my own personal home videos. So here's my buddy playing golf. It doesn't play it on the phone because it plays it right on the display. 
is also playing at the same time on the on the capture device and it's also capturing the audio. So you see that's how it's going to look. Obviously you can hook up this to a bigger monitor but just for this demo purposes I'm using this. So that's how it looks guys. So how does this look with the virtual reality stuff? Either if it's the Samsung Gear VR or the Google Cardboard. Well, let's go ahead and plug it right in and give it a shot. All right, so let me show you guys how clear some of these videos will come out actually. So I'm gonna go into the 360 video here and I'm just gonna play the uh, 360 Iceland tours really quick. And here you go. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> sorry, I always get thrown back by this. But hopefully what you guys are seeing is actually the video feed from what I'm seeing right now and it should be pretty clear. Um, what Actually what you're going to see in the edited version is the stretched out version of one side um, because the way it actually records it splits. So I'm going to do a little cut for you guys but um, this is how it looks. So the, the Samsung Gear VR videos come out looking really great. So for those of you who have been looking to do some um, let's plays with the virtual reality stuff this works just fine. And for you Google Cardboard people this works just as well too. Um, I already did my first test video for uh, some of the future Let's Play videos and the videos came out looking great. So this is like a perfect solution for not only the virtual reality stuff but also for, uh, somebody take this off, but it's also perfect for all you people who want to use it for um, Let's Play for your, your games, movies, apps, and whatnot. This is the perfect way for you to review everything now. So, Well guys, I hope that this video helped you guys out. If you have any additional questions on how to set this up or any um, questions about the devices I used, um, please go ahead and leave a comment down below or you guys can go ahead and private message me as well. And lastly, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know if you liked or disliked this video. And as always, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more how-tos, let's plays, unboxings, and reviews. And also to, you know, to join the ever-growing community that we're starting here. But if you're just stopping by and just checking my stuff out, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate your time. But hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Well, good day, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is. Thank you. See you guys.